All of the researchers in the Legion lab are wearing full body protection, meaning this is either a clean room where foreign bodies could mess up the experiments, or the area is potentially dangerous. Yet Brenda and Yosef just stand around in their civvies violating every safety protocol. Activate the astral chain. Damn, this early? We haven't even gotten to the opening credits yet. When you can't decide if your game is going to be inspired by Evangelion, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Ghost in the Shell, or Attack on Titan, just use equal amounts of all of them. Why wait until the Legion is almost through the glass before activating the restraint? Throw Pokemon into the mix as well, with the Legions being contained in cores. Hell, they don't even stop to consider the morality of enslaving another sentient creature to your will and forcing it to fight for you. Trying to define this game is like looking at a very long list of description tags on Crunchyroll and finding them all checkmarked. Have the next candidates been chosen? They're... They're Captain Max's children. The twin orphans he took in. Twin orphans raised by a cop after their mother died giving birth to them and inducted into a special police agency while they were still young and hot. Those two have been genetically engineered to be main characters. I recommend picking the female twin. The ass shots won't make any sense otherwise. This is the sort of uniform I'd expect to see in the Brazzers police department. Platinum must have worked out a sponsorship deal with Webster's Dictionary. Every chapter begins with the definition of the chapter title. Japanese developers are dead set against modeling ramps for motorcycle jumps. Both of the twins have voice actors. However, the one you choose to play will be mute while the other does all the talking. I don't really see the point in a silent protagonist in a game like this. And since you play a police officer, being able to communicate is kind of important. We're engaging hostile targets. But whatever they are, we can't see them. Only people bonded with a legion can see chimeras. But the game will forget this rule multiple times whenever it finds it convenient. Max, you must let them use the Legatus. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Commander! What the hell are you saying? I guess Max didn't ask questions when he was handed two spare Legatus before heading out to confront the crisis. The twins just got those, and they already have choreography synced up. Look on the bright side. At least in a game, you don't have to skip the anime opening every episode after the first one. Your sibling will take on the role of Deuteragonist and be called Akira, which is yet another anime reference, but that's beside the point. But according to the opening credits, the name Akira is interchangeable, meaning really there's only one character here. The problem with being too inspired by your favorite anime is that it makes your own work predictable. Like I can't tell that the guy who is essentially Shinji's dad from Evangelion isn't going to turn out to be a villain. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. Wouldn't it be far more efficient for police to continue doing the job they've always done of maintaining civil order and the law while leaving defense to a regular army? As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction, with most of the planet uninhabitable. We survivors fled here to this artificial island we call the Ark. You wouldn't need to give a lesson on the state of the world and humanity to people who have lived their whole lives on a man-made island called the Ark after the rest of the world was destroyed by chimeras. That's the only reality they know. For a story about humanity supposedly on the brink, the world you explore doesn't reflect it. The people live normal lives in a metropolis that looks and operates like any other. The only crime I could find being committed was littering energy drink cans all over the sidewalks. But that's probably the threshold of Armageddon in Japan. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with the Legion. Only a select few can use this important world-saving device. That statement holds up until just after the credits roll when the entire police force is given legions after the threat has passed. Max's lifespan can be measured in minutes. He exists only to fill in the tragic loss of a parental figure box in the main character's already stuffed protagonist resume. Other than the legion they control, Max and the others are still just normal humans. They shouldn't be able to jump from this height and survive without injuries. What do we have here? A handprint, huh? Damn big one, too. Between the size and the red matter, I think we can say this isn't a human handprint. That police intuition is as sharp as ever, Anime Dad. Alright, looks like we'll have to split up. We'll take these, you and Akira follow the ones through the parking garage. Alicia controls the Beast Legion, which has the ability to track people in Chimeras. There's no reason to split up if you have something that can pick up the trail. When Akira told me you got pulled through the gate, I nearly lost it. Akira was nowhere around when a Chimera pulled his sister through a gate. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool line coming from someone who just damn near cried their eyes out. Only weak-minded nerds show emotion when their sister and only living blood relative is dragged into an unexplored plane of existence where no one has ever returned from. Who'd have thought the gates led to a place like this? Understanding your enemy is key to defeating it. You're telling me no one has ever sent a drone through an astral gate to learn about these things? <sighs> Feels heavy. 
The corrupting effect of the astral plane is a major threat now and on no other subsequent trips. In fact, if they just ignored that altogether, I wouldn't bring up how lucky it is there's enough oxygen to breathe in the astral plane. Everyone else's legion breaks free and turns on their former master. Except for yours, which has taken a liking to the way you've yanked it around by its chain for the past day. The rogue legions wait patiently while they discuss how to get away. They can all escape through the gate without Max sacrificing himself. Go and remember what happened here. It'll make you stronger. Tragic memories are a lot like energy drinks. Are you awake? Of course she's awake. She's sitting up. You fell unconscious the moment you came back through the gate. You've been asleep for three days. Being asleep for three days is not like waking up from a nap. She should have been hooked up to an IV and dressed in a patient gown. There's a reason coma patients don't wear tight booty shorts and heavy body armor. While you were all on the other side, the Aegis Research Institute came under attack. They hit the Legion production facility the hardest. It will be months before it's operational again. Before the twins joined Neuron, they only had three officers with Legions. How slow was this production facility before it was bombed? Because it didn't seem like it had a very high output. Dressing as the mascot is what you do when the local elementary school has a field trip to the police station. Not for grown adults who work stressful public servant jobs. Also, her dad just died. She's not going to be in the mood to put up with this. Heard so much about. There comes a point when a certain level of commitment turns into a worrying sign of mental illness. There's no other way to say this, but Mary is in desperate need of a bra, or at least a uniform that doesn't look like it's meant to be fetish gear. Akira took the stray cat from Mary. There's no way he kept the chonker like that hidden under his vest for the entire chopper ride. Since you are a police officer, a good amount of the game is spent conducting investigations. I'm not sure why the special police division that exists only to fight monsters has to spend so much time walking the beat. It's like a firefighter taking temperature readings outside of a burning building before deciding if it's a job for him. Especially when, surprise surprise, every single investigation leads to a monster out of space face in time. All of that investigating ends in a quiz that doesn't matter whether you pass or get every question wrong. The game still leads you to your next objective. While investigating the missing person, they discover enough evidence to point to a chimera. The description is pretty spot on for the Arrow Legion, the Legion Akira previously owned, yet he doesn't recognize the description. You know the drill. Whatever's on the other side is up to you. I'll be waiting out here. That's actually not the drill. Until the other day, no one had ever gone through a gate before, and it ended in disaster. <laughs> Hal stops himself from saying Neuron to avoid giving away what he knows, then mentions Chimeras, a topic that is classified that the public doesn't know about. Also, Hal can apparently see Chimeras despite not being a Legionis. I'm Dad's kid, just like you are. I don't need any help killing Chimeras. I don't even need a Legion to hide behind. I'll show you. If I can't take a Chimera myself, what's the point of even living? Akira got awfully attached to the thing he'd only known about the existence of for a day. You've got both sword and arrow legions registered in your legatus now. It seems you can wield both interchangeably. If you find the other three, you should be able to use them as well. You can only become the main character by robbing every other character of their usefulness. This is one hell of a lavish setup for what amounts to a VoIP call. Half of Neuron's budget must have went into building a three-story tall cross-shaped monitor. We can become as gods. Recycling Nietzschean lines from previous Platinum games, are we? I get that Jenna is evil, but even evil takes a shower and washes clothes regularly. I suppose you think you have me cornered, but let me assure you, you're here because I want you to be. This is all according to plan. I've played through the entire game and can't give you one reason why Jenna's plans would involve trapping some police officers in a mall. Akira survives this, and then this, and the only thing that died is my disbelief. This is the same room where Yosa was seen creating the Sword Legion at the beginning of the game. The same Legion production facility Jenna destroyed the other day. But what happened to Akira wasn't your fault. Jenna was more powerful than anyone could have expected. Must be hard to tell if you are succeeding in absolving someone of their remorse when they can't speak. Thanks to Commander Calvert, or I should say, Dr. Calvert's astute diagnosis, Akira's nearly good as new. Yes, the acute diagnosis of a hole through his chest. Doctor, why are the patient gowns so... erotic? 
Since this game wants to be anime, it would be a huge plus if it stuck even closer to that goal than it does. Usually, the middle of the season is when the producers give you the beach or hot spring episode. A bit of TNA would be greatly appreciated over these boring investigations and side plots. I have a sneaking suspicion that the Beast Legion is built off of Blade Wolf's assets from Metal Gear Rising. Think of this as a storage unit, kept by unknowable masters. Our extinction. Reorganization. While the astral plane being an unknown force trying to archive humanity is interesting, without any kind of expansion on the concept, I just nod along and wonder if this will come up again in the sequel. Be very careful, especially around that man. For someone with a murder boner for Yosef, Jenna sure doesn't like to mention him by name so people can understand who she's talking about. This may be the first you've heard of him, but Hal's one of us. He's a programmer in Neuron's technical division. An introverted programmer named Hal who speaks to you through a drone. It seems Otacon is finally inside one of his Japanese anime. The data was set up with some heavy-duty encryption, but I managed to crack it. Jenna gave you that data card so you could learn the truth. Why would she heavily encrypt it if she wanted it to be read? Even Neuron officers are forbidden from entering Zone 09 without permission. If you got caught in there, they'd take your Legion away. They'd probably even arrest you. Or worse. I'll be fine. I bet I can get this drone in and out unnoticed. Hal should be able to fly his drone over the wall. He wouldn't even be in any danger. There's no reason to involve her in breaking the law. Tying him up with your legions our best option. That'll knock him out long enough for us to get through. I think it might be hard to explain how there's another person with an astral chain tying up police officers when she is the only person in the world who has one. Stealth sections are about as wanted in an action game as a realistic depiction of relationships are in a dating sim. Since Sector 09 is an off-limit area of the Ark, who restocks the vending machines with energy drinks? Can't say I have a good read on you, Goldie. But your associate here's got cop written all over. Not one of the hermits, including Kyle, recognize Hal's voice despite him being the former leader. Hey, you get right to the point, don't you? Oh well, the promise is a promise. It's called Blue Evolve. For someone who didn't know the conversation was going to be about Blue Evolve, Kyle was certainly prepared with a slideshow presentation. So if you need specifics, ask him yourself. But there's one little problem. Nobody has any idea where he is. Douglas, Kyle's Blue Evolve supplier, was dragged into a gate by a chimera. Normally, people don't last long in the astral plane. Assuming Douglas went missing days ago, he should have already been corrupted. My, my, my case! Where, where's my case? Where is it? I suppose she picked up that case full of drugs and just threw it on the ground after getting back to reality. And somehow Kyle knew the instant Douglas was found and where they came back through despite having no idea where he was. How do you drink that stuff right through your mask? If a drug is named after a color and isn't that color, don't drink it. Crashing a work-issued motorcycle into a monster is a surefire way to get stuck walking home with a garnished paycheck. Only one day after being impelled, Akira is back on his feet and controlling a legion again. Says the lady who is sicking monsters on the city in order to stop Yosef. These actions are clearly insubordination. You'll remain in there until we determine a proper sentence. Blue of all was coming from the ARI laboratory that Yosef also directs. The whole point of going into the Forbidden Zone was to get information. But it's never used to expose Yosef. Shouldn't having your weapon confiscated be part of being imprisoned? Also, there's no toilet in this cell. What were you doing out there? Something you can't even tell me about then. When does she ever tell you anything? She doesn't speak. Yo, I just finished whipping up some anti-trace encoding so I could call you. They also left her communication gear on her when they locked her up. All I've heard are rumors, but they don't sound like anything good. Watch out for the crows. Remember that. Hal already ensured no one could listen in or trace his call. Just tell her to be wary of the ravens. The new unit her brother is the first member of. I found some kind of a, a giant egg. It took this long to find a giant egg under a heavily trafficked overpass bridge. None of the motorists passing under it thought that was strange. I still really don't get it. You know, I never expected you guys to grow up to be police. Didn't even tell me you'd signed on. Come on, Dad. It's obvious. We want to save the world like you. Is it condescending or ironic for your twin brother to do all the talking in your emotional flashback about your anime father? There are those who would use your fear to sell you a false gift.
Jenna is incredibly vague in her hijacked transmission. Just say, Yosef is going to compress all of humanity into a WinRAR file. There's a reason whistleblowers don't wax and wane poetically. Jenna warns that the government asking the people to sacrifice for a better future will result in the damnation of everyone. She then demands that everyone watching be prepared to sacrifice for a better future. Probably shouldn't have put those points together in the same speech. I figured the formal declaration of Jenna as a terrorist would have happened when she hatched a homunculus on the freeway, but I suppose hijacking a broadcast qualifies as better late than never. Is every monitor on the Ark run off a single server? She hacked all of them at once and they play in sync. Let's discuss Jenna's plan. After being trapped in the astral plane for 20 years, she finally escapes. Knowing that Yosef's plan for saving humanity is on the extreme end of the moral event horizon, decides that her best course of action is to stop him by killing him. To do that, she makes herself look as crazy as possible while trying to convince the twins in the public, all while unleashing monsters on the innocent civilians that serve no purpose and just make her look even worse. Finally, her master plan involves stealing Blue of All from Douglas, which she could have stolen from the IRA lab back when she blew it up since that's where they make it, monster up, and finally kill him. It's a fortunate thing Jenna's chimera form can fly since she wouldn't have been able to catch up with Yosef escaping in a helicopter. You can't exactly know what Blue of All will do to you after all. When you are essentially 90% sword, choking seems like the least efficient means of killing your target. The motorcycle budget for Neuron has got to be eye gouging. I'm not picking up any, any vitals. I'm not really sure why she's dying. Both she and Jenna fell back to the ground, and Jenna came through that fall just fine. I tried to warn you. You did a remarkably bad job of it. Also, if Jenna knew this would happen, why did she keep trying to kill the twins? Being near death causes this fusion to occur. The previous fall she suffered would have killed her if not for the Legion fusion. Now she's been shot up by the Ravens and falls from an even further height while her Legion form fades away. Welcome to my secret hideout. Hal has a secret hideout that he doesn't hide out in himself, since he still uses his drone to talk with people, so he must have an even more secret hideout somewhere else. Also, this secret hideout is just in an apartment and they leave the door open while discussing all this. I took the liberty of rewiring your Legatus navigation system a bit. We can't have the cops following it right to you. So why didn't you disable that tracker when you convinced her to illegally enter Zone 09 with you? She was arrested for that. When I see these two standing next to each other, I sort of expect them to start singing the Team Rocket motto. Relax, I came alone. I just want to talk to her. That's all. You came here alone to talk to your sister, not knowing if she was still alive? Akira has been commanding the Ravens for the past three days, and in that time, he never found it weird that the Ravens never spoke or removed their helmets. Then again, he is used to communicating with mute people who are biologically similar to him. Since being brought to the brink of death is what causes the twins' Legion fusion to activate, how come Akira didn't fuse back when Jinna ran him through? This is exactly what they mean when they talk about having the power of God and anime on your side. With this, Game Sins is now a JoJo reference. Project Noah has reached fruition. If I ever find myself about to realize some dark ambition, I'm making a point to call it Project Bob, just so I don't come off as full of myself. Bust into the lab and hear it straight from Yosef. I'm going with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just woke up from a coma. That didn't stop you from putting his sister to work after waking up from a coma on two different occasions. I bet we'll find Yosef up there. Then why not land the chopper up there instead of in front of the building? <laughs> Olive? Olive! <sighs> it's no use. I can't get through. Yosef jams the radio communications, but Hal's drone continues to work perfectly. Since Akira's sister is the stronger of the two, why didn't Yosef make clones of her? He had her biological material on hand. That was why he decided to bring the two of them into Neuron. You've saved me some trouble, coming here on your own. I was afraid I'd have to find you myself. Yosef doesn't actually need them for anything. He has the Akira clones and knows how to make them fuse with legions. He should have already fused them all into Noah before the twins ever arrived. Oh! I guess they finally decided on an Evangelion. It's useless. I'm part of the astral plane now. I'm endless. The main character can't hurt Yosef since he's one with the astral plane. But then Yosef experiences one of the quickest deaths by hubris I've ever seen when Akira stabs him from behind. And apparently it works for him because of reasons. I'm gonna level with you. 
The only reason I put this game up for vote is so I could do another Platinum Final Boss fight. I would have taken a sin off for Akira sacrificing himself if the devs didn't cop out and have one of the Akira clones take his place afterward. I mean, that's creepy, not heartwarming. Oh, 